Ladies and gentlemen, people and other people, there's no children here. Uh, we are ready to introduce a man who should need no introduction, yeah. but he's going to get one anyway. This is Mr. Jeremiah Craig. Woo. He is a, a legend yeah. of the folk community. He, he hails from New York. He is rocked out in, in um, Arizona. Uh, he has traveled the world as a, as a balladeer. Yeah. Uh, he's a beautiful individual with a dangerous soul whose music will is reflected through his dancing face. Uh, he'll, uh, he'll, he'll amaze you, he'll astound you. This night it was is, was brought to you by him. Uh, he's, a, he's, a, he's a fun cat, and you guys will come out to enjoy a, a good time on a Sunday night. Uh, we appreciate you guys coming out on a Sunday night. I'll be playing up after him as a uh, friggin' glorious if you guys want to stick around for some crazy uh, punk music. But without further ado, um, Jeremiah Craig is here to, to rock your world. Yeah! Thanks everybody, I'm Jeremiah Craig. And when he says balladeer, it just means I talk a lot in between songs. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I want to thank you all for coming out. I'm going to start off with this story because I have a fiance over here. And when I met her, what was it, like eight years ago almost now? Yeah, that's right. She stole my chair in my last class at college and she said, sorry, I commandeered your chair. And I was like, oh, I like you. <laughs> So then I wrote a song called The Commandeer, and that song turned into an entire suite of songs. I'm just going to play you the main song right here. Here it is, Commandeer. Surprise, surprise, thinking I was happily reserved, knowing really nothing and being so absurd. For you took my eyes, yes, with your lovely words on that premiere summer night. First and paramount, you took my sight. And you don't need to tell me what I found, the shaman mirror. gems and quirks waiting to be explored, and both of us have a yearning to always learn a little more. As we barter like pirates while the tide is out from shore, yeah, waiting to be taken to another world, where our love will be unfurled. And I don't know how this was seated to me, but I grovel here. Story will go far. 
Methodologized, but kept on par. And with every thought of you, my face fills between the ears. Yeah. Take me over, love, you're the common So this is a this is sort of a a millennial song. <laughs> it's called Voices of the Overtones. This is a new one. has betrayed me men in the vanguard invade me and with just a few scars we relax and sneak past in the morning are the faceless the built on this bog to be graceless the earth rolled as the logs to inflate it with false empty throngs we relax and sneak past in the morning all we were chased in to get in line for a raise when we recalled some sweet wines made with raisins and we'll drink it in time we relax and sleep past the morning oh. hey. just as i noticed we won't age when we're young and youth when we're grown and play the sound from home and i heard voices in the overtones yes hello old friends You've had much to defend. Come in and dry off for a while. Let's talk where to begin, and I'll pack up my things and are ready for every mile. Thanking voices in the overtones. We got half as much as we half expected, but still we took all that we could get. We made it this far, only half detected by all those old confederates. We got half as much as we half expected, that's why we always ask high. With so much not even half elected, it won't even take long to wonder why we were pursued at the border called the Eye of the Controller Put our names in a folder And still follows us worriedly Yeah! And he should be worried Yeah! So on the freeway we sang the old tunes that been waylaid by white hairs with brooms from that heyday. And with no stock in moons, we relax and sneak past in the morning. We missed schooling and still showed up late for the ruling to be branded in hate by the drooling. But with no chain on the gate, we relax and sneak past in the morning. Yeah. We thought that 
as we listened to air and we gave thanks to a beauty so fair that it outranks any hounding despair. We relaxed as we passed the morning. Oh, just as I noticed the passengers blamed for a flight that never could have flown and played a song from home. And I heard voices in the overtones. Yes, hello, old friends. Had much to defend. Come in and dry off for a while. Let's talk where to begin. And I'll pack up my things and ready for every mile. Thanking voices in the open Small obsessions, we passed on our tickets to the nosebleeds. Their mistakes are our lessons, and it's cited in our own creed. After little thefts and small obsessions, we all agreed how the deal would go down. In vacant dates and intentions, we are only guided by the sound, and the bells ring clearly. Ignore the loud call for quick treasures. They've come to us all. We relaxed and snuck past in the morning. That's my uh, that's my fuck you. It'll all work out anyway. Song. <laughs> For a good old ballad here. So, back in the 13th, 14th century, you know, they could only bury people on holy land. So, as you can imagine, in small countries and islands like England, they eventually ran out of room because, you know, they were, the people were dying off faster than the church could bless the land so they could actually have a graveyard. So, what they started to do was dig up the people who had been dead for a while and uh, throw their bones into this thing that they called a bone house. And that way there would be room to bury the new people who had just died. But when they were doing that, they noticed on the inside of some of these coffins that there were scratch marks. Yeah, not good, not good. Right? Like, are we burying people alive? And after some discussion, they thought that yeah, probably. <laughs> so what they started doing was tying strings to people's hands when they buried them, in case you were just taking a nap and they decided to bury you. <laughs> so they st take, try, tied a string to your hand, ran that string up through the ground and tied it to a bell next to the tombstone. And if you were moving around later, like you just woke up from your nice nap, uh, that bell would ring because imagine you'd be moving around, the string would be taut and the bell would ring. And then the person working the graveyard shift would come around, the grave digger would come around with his shovel and be like, oh, this person's alive, I gotta dig them up before they run out of air. That was their job. That was the graveyard shift. So, if they succeeded in digging a person up before they ran out of air, that person dug up was said to be saved by the bell. So that's where wow. that saying came from. But there's another saying that came from this. If they failed, then they dug up the person and they ran out of air and they died of suffocation from being buried alive. It was said that that person was a dead ringer. So there's two sayings. So this is a song about that whole story told from the grave digger's perspective. And this person who is the grave digger in this song is, is sort of a cocky sort. So he's got a 100% save rate, if you will. So this song, <laughs> this song is called Busy My Spade. I'm going to play the harmonica too. <laughs> I don't usually do that, but I 
feel it. Uh, every, there's a different harmonica for every key. So since I'm playing in A right now, I need the D harmonica because the har D harmonica is the cross harp to A. Some harmonica lessons for you. All right, here we go. <laughs> Somebody just comes up, somebody, and 
breaks your finger. I'm like, he needed that. <laughs> Come on, we have ten fingers for a reason. <sighs> so, because I was thinking about it so much, I wrote a song about uh, a loan shark who really likes cigars. His favorite cigar brand is Romeo and Julietas. But uh, he has two cigar cutters. One for the cigars. And it's called One for My Romeo and Julietas. I'm familiar with your kind, my friend, and it's unlikely you'll have a respectable end. But me, I'm a businessman, and I know life like this cigar in my hand. Too many people don't know if you cut it too high, it will unravel and leave you dry. I keep one for my Romeo and Julietas. The other for your fingers You say you want my money for a trip to Vegas I have no confidence that you come back to see us No oh. Man, I thought you were smarter than this My only interests are cigars and interest You're good for it is all you say But you ain't won nothing since that horse lucky day and so you see my dilemma now And the need for collateral before you leave town I keep one for my Romeo and Julietas The other for your fingers You say you want more money for a trip to Vegas I have no confidence that you'll come back to see us Oh Beginning to get impatient here as you compromise my wealth. Since you don't use those fingers for counting cash, I guess I will just help myself. Oh, you've got me all riled up now. I must take a minute to come. Myself before I can take this song any further. into a little bit more detail for ya. <laughs> All right, here we go. You see, part of my living come from gambling on the gamblers. I like to keep those who keep a good handle, but you come a bad hand. So give you a bad hand instead of folding you and making you a dead man. Ha! If you're still looking to leave you with green, you better be willing to part with your pinkies. Ha! Yeah, while I wait for you to make some digits, you'll have to leave some digits here with me. I keep one for my Romeo and Julietas, the other for your fingers. You say you want my money for a trip to Vegas, and I will make sure that you come back to see us. Oh, yeah. Ra -ta -ta -ra -ra. Touring last year, the year before that, and uh, this is a new single that I released earlier this year. But I was doing a lot of a lot of touring, and I toured hard. Like I wouldn't I wouldn't take anything really easy. I, I ate, ate out of cans. I would shower at truck stops, sleep at Walmart parking lots because you know parking lots at Walmart are free as day overnight. As a lot of other people know, too, so you run into some weirdos, but that's getting so uh, So, 
While I was spending a lot of time in these truck stops, I learned a new term that truckers use called bobtailing. And bobtailing is a, is a term that they use when they are, uh, it's just a truck without the trailer, right? That's a bobtail. But when you are bobtailed as a verb, you are sent a distance to pick up a job, to pick up the trailer, and you're not paid for that time most, most times. So it's sort of an investment to get to the job, to actually pick it up and drive it to wherever it needs to go. Which isn't really, uh, they don't really like it, as you can imagine, but sometimes you gotta do it. And I thought of that as a very interesting metaphor for life sometimes. So, I wrote this song. It's called <clears throat> We Bobtailed Further for Less. That big old moon graces my rear view Like a high beam cascade reef A hauling stone for that morning crew As I stop for my last leg And this road's running out of city With no expectations or toes, no, she shines to the roots that grip me. With no one to bear the load, yeah, we've bogged tailed further for less, and it looks like we're. She said, don't ever stop, son, as she put away the plates. With more cold shoulders, one, we follow our streets. And this road's running out of heartland. She even puddles on the crown. But these roots cradle a strong stand and won't ever let it down. Yeah, we've bobtailed. Stop now, I must confess, we have to try. It's been miles since dinner. to grease the fittings. Constantine cheers, parking lot sinners. So I don't forget how to spend my slim winnings. And this road's running out of spirit. She's cracked and full of holes. I believe it's time to commandeer it. Where the roots take hold. Yeah, we've bobtailed further for less. And here is the very best. 
on our minds. picture so you can actually just open that up press the search button and then there's a picture button in like somewhere in the search bar somewhere on that screen you can scan it and then you can follow me which I hope you do because I'm releasing stuff all year Woo! Woo! Uh, yeah. so what's next what's next Ooh, I have a funny song <clears throat> so everybody is familiar with a town called Bothell Bothell has some good history. So, Bothell started out. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna go there. Okay, so Bothell had a, Bothell had a uh, postmaster by the name of Gerhard Erickson. He was the first postmaster of the town. So, they had just paved the roads back in the early 1900s in Bothell. And they're looking at these roads, they're like, man, these are great roads! Wow, we did such a good job on these roads. People can drive from who knows where, Winthrop, through our town and off to Seattle. But there's something else we can do here. Gerhard Erickson was just, he had his mindset on making it a better town to drive through. So I, he noticed that there were all these, these, these pricker bushes on the side of the road, you know? And what, what, what would happen if somebody had to stop in the middle of the night and, you know, relieve themselves? Take a pee, but, you know, there's no room. There's no, this is a real story, by the way. This is a true story. I read it in a book at the library. <laughs> so he came to the town hall one day. He's like, you know, I can't, I, this isn't safe. We have to get rid of all these thistles, all these pricker bushes on the side of the road. It'll make our town a better place to drive through. So he came to the town hall, and you can just imagine this, right? He gets up at the podium. He has this bill, it's called the Thistle Bill. He's got a room full of packed in ears. He's all, he's all excited about this bill that he wrote. He says, We've done our part in paving the town for all the travelers on their way to the sound. But we can do better when the sun goes down and pave the way for sweet relief. <laughs> So I introduce the good thistle bill to clear blackberry bushes from the side of the hill and next to the road and across from the mill to keep away unintended grief. Yes, we stand for freedom to travel around and to get relief and hear where it is found. So we'll dig up all of these thistles inside so you don't prick your brick in the night. <laughs> What holds your applause until you hear the whole tale? It's short and it's sad and unequivocally male. Consuming all coffee that one can corral is the start of this fair warning. You see, he stopped past the mill to find a tree, but with none to be found, he soon let Willie free. Among all the thistles, then cried out bitterly, and we couldn't pull him out until the morning. Yes, we stand for freedom, travel around, and so get relief, and hear where it is found. So we'll dig up all of these thistles inside, so you don't break your break in the night. Now, the, the, the next verse is the voting verse, and I need everybody to say, yay, when I, when I look like this. <laughs> Before voting today And think of yourself in a similar way Just then the whole hall road with a number of Yay! You don't make a break in the night Yes, we stand for freedom and travel around And to get relief and hear where it is found So we'll take up all of these thistles inside so 
say it down, break your break in the night. nowadays, making an economy joke. Uh, but it didn't work. Like, how are you supposed to, why would you spend that money that you're supposed to put on your mattress on a new mattress to was beside me? I didn't. I don't care. Like, it, gave me, it gave me an idea. What if somebody actually did do that? What if they put all their money in their mattress? How comfortable would it be? And then what if they got it all stolen away by this con artist during a party? And then I wrote this song. <laughs> Charm, he rolls into the room, his three hounds at his back. Entering with him is the lights of the moon, to light the dark within you, showing you what you lack. He has no title of power, but assumes the air. It is mysteriously allowed. It is his suit that makes him familiar to you, and it brings your guard down. Now, Tell your mother to take you back home. Tell your mother my fears. Tell your mother to take you back home and be afraid of the man in the suit of me. There was an old country ball in the Smithson barn. A wealthy family, twas said. In his usual attire, under another name, into that ball he tread. Now, the Gerald Smithson on the mine down the hill, he held parties as he pleased. After a little ale, he told the man in the suit, his wealth made him sleep easily. <laughs> now the man in the suit found a young Mary Smithson, the trophy that made Gerald's spouse. Mary had never met someone quite like herself. Soon offered him a sewer of the house. She giggled and flirted as he jested his way. From different rooms she would lead. Until they came to the bedroom where he sat on the bed. It was a good mattress indeed. Oh, I'd tell your mother and save you back home. I'd tell your mother my Tell your mother to take you back home and be afraid of a man in the suit of me. Now Gerald Smithson went looking for his wife in dire need of a waltz. He went to the house and they called from downstairs. He heard only the echoes of his calls. Climbing the staircase, he went to his room. A cool breeze as he opened the door. His mattress was thin and there were only a few dollars left. Mary lay bare on the floor. Tell your mother to take you back home. Tell your mother not to.
right here. And this song is a is a song that I wrote when I was uh, really happy, like <laughs> the happiest that you could ever be. This feels like you're on top of the world, right? And nothing can stop you. It was around the time uh, that I met Brenna, and this is always the worst part of this song. Ooh, am I gonna break the string? Nope. Okay. This isn't a very strange tuning. Um, I guess another result of the song is like, well, I don't care what anybody thinks. Ah, this is great. All right. So this song is called Viaduct. <clears throat> thank you all for listening, and I want to also thank Logo Unlimited for sponsoring this. Imperfect Produce, Cooler Gifts to Go, uh, Kite Hill, Lifestatus.net, uh, Block 24. Like, these, this, we didn't even think that this thing was gonna be possible. But we made it happen. So this is really cool. I wanna thank all of them for doing that. Um, it's, a, it's, a great, it's great for you guys to support it, and it's great for the businesses to support this. This is a really cool thing that we, that we do here. So I wanna thank you too. I appreciate y'all of you. This song is called Viaduct. Suitcase on a viaduct, and Miss Pross said she'd sew a new handle on. I met Ramona in the waiting room, and we decided to get lost in the Camelon. Yes, she took me up to the attic now to tell me more about how she was feeling, and we laughed when I lost my. And my foot fell through the ceiling I was crossing over the interstate. He was done reaching at them prickly pears. Finally trying to put on a little winter's weight. Yes, he told me to come stand up on his shoulders. Cause the ones at the top are the sweetest. And I know firsthand just what he means. Yes, I can. Quite a bit longer, yeah. 